Welcome back everybody. In this video I'm going to be trying to make a dash for our character in GB Studio. So I, in my notebook I've written down a, a basic way I think I can make it work. Uh, it's by pressing select and then it will wait a second and if you don't press anything it will just uh, do nothing. But if in that second you do press one of the directional arrows it will then push you forward very fast um, or which, in whichever direction you push. Um, and then, obviously, if you press select again, it will happen again. So let's get straight into it. I haven't uh, tried this yet, and I hope that doesn't uh, uh, mean it doesn't uh, work too well. But if any bugs come up, then I can show you how I uh, get around bugs. So to begin, I'm going to have an attach button, attach script to button, and it will be the select button reason I'm having it on select is because start is normally a pause button um, and then A and B is normally either attack and or talk. Um, so those two are kind of, you know, left free. And so the idea is when you press select and then press one of the uh, directional arrows, we'll then dash in that direction. So when we press select, we then want to um, have another button, which is attach button to script of one of these. Um, so I think I'll start with the left button and what we want to do is set the movement speed to a faster speed. Let me just see what the movement speed is. By clicking just in the background you'll get to the game, uh, you know, like your player character's um, stats. Um, so to test this, as you can see, this is the starting position and I've dragged it from the your logo bit up here, um, that's where it began originally. I just drag that all the way down to here. So now when I press play at the top right here, it loads us in in this position here. So as you can see, our movement speed is one and it could go a lot faster. So obviously this might take a lot of testing to find the correct one, uh, which one feels the best. So let's put it on three. And then let's put the move relative of the player to uh, if we're pressing left, then we want to go minus x, and let's just do five. Use collisions, meaning we won't, you know, phase through trees and then get stuck in a tree or something. Uh, we want to like hit whatever the collisions uh, would let us hit. Um, and then once we've done that, we want to remove remove attached script, and that will be from. Um, everything because we're going to have multiple uh, things here but it's only the stuff that we want it to be removed from. If we removed it from start then uh, you see this quest attached menu to start button uh, thing will be uh, also taken off meaning we wouldn't be able to look at the, um, the the quest list that is already built into this template and as you can see I'm using the template. Um, so keep that in mind when you're removing attached scripts. Um, and then we can do that for every single um, thing. But then we also realize that that means if we press select, then we will always be dashing and we'll never be moving. Or once you press select, um, then you will only dash. And if you didn't want to dash, then you'd have to dash. So we also want a wait button. Or we could make it so when we press it again, it uh, it stops us from dashing. So I think I see how a wait timer works. It might be that um, it, the wait timer actually gets in the way of pressing a button. Uh, what I mean by that is the wait timer often physically makes the scene wait and makes you as a player have to wait until the wait is over until you can uh, do something again. So instead I could use a timer, um, but for now I'm just going to test this with a uh, one second timer and then after that's over we're going to remove attached scripts like we did before and just do everything again and we'll see how that works and we have to keep in mind that we've only set up for the left arrow uh, but actually I'm just going to do that and just uh, copy and paste it for um, up down and right as well. I'm also going to rename these for when we are scrolling through and it's uh, minimized so that we can exactly see what we're doing. And remember that each direction you have to uh, change how this goes. And remember that the top left of the corner is 
zero 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 so to get up to there if you're not up there you'd have to take away the numbers from um from this movement and to get to the bottom right you'd have to add uh the numbers in the x y um so let's do that okay so now i've renamed all of these things i've made sure that the correct button is pressed and that they move in the correct uh, direction and now i can press play and see if this works okay so now when i press shift and move you can see my speed has increased and that is obviously because we haven't reset the speed of the character after we set it so i'm gonna have to go through and put back all of this to speed one once that uh, this is over so that they're not running around at crazy speed um, after we've dashed we want to set the um, the speed back to how it was and the speed also seems very fast so i might even decrease the um, original speed as well um, so let's just see how this goes first if uh, it becomes uh, more playable okay so i move around i press shift and something definitely looked like a dash um but once i've realized that once um once it is over we don't uh, have the ability to dash anymore because we've removed it from select really what we should we should do is not re not remove it from select because we need to be able to dash again um and that should mean that we always have the ability to dash but we take away the ability to dash um individually you know by pressing the directional arrows so we need to not remove the attached script um from here and i think that should help but if it will actually work, uh, I don't actually know. But it seemed to work once, which uh, once if it works once, then you can imagine it will work again. Um, so yeah, by pressing, or by removing it from, by removing the attach button from shift, I think I was removing the, you know, the initiate dash button basically. Okay. Um, something is definitely working. Um, like I'm technically dashing, but uh, I feel like there's one thing. The weight is kind of uh, getting in the way. Um, I think if I remove the weight, and if I remove this then there is another way to do the you know removal of it and that's by having an on update script which you can't do like on the background of the scene you'd have to you know uh, create an actor um and put it in the scene um and by doing that you can pin it to the screen um and by pinning it to the screen means that it can it's always there to do its on update and you can even make it a transparent uh, sprite so you can't see it uh, it will still act as an actor unfortunately uh, you know like get in the way of the other sprites rendering of, um, you know if you have a long line of them then it it won't render correctly um, but if we had a true value here that um, that sets a value to true when we press select on that thing and then on here if that value is true it waits a second and then sets it to false it could uh do the that waiting for us without forcing the player to wait like we have uh experienced in our testing there so what i'm going to do is just um not remove the select um or not have that wait timer and meaning that you have to dash once you press the select button you have to dash um i could make it in the future that when you press select it like removes that function from the select button um and reapplies the original um select button adding the extra things um, but let's see yeah so when i press select 
And then in a direction, I move in that direction very fast, uh, just like a dash, which is what I obviously wanted. Uh, and then after that, I just walk around normally. And if I press select again, next time I press a directional button, I dash. Um, for some reason, the up one is a bit funky. Um, it doesn't seem to work very smoothly. See, when I'm holding down a, you know, an arrow key, and I mash, um, I mash select, which is, yeah, when I mash select, uh, this is what it looks like. And arguably, that's exactly what we wanted from this. Um, but obviously, with some fine tweaking, uh, it could be a lot better. But uh, I hope you guys uh, learned a lot from this, and I hope it was useful. Um, obviously, we could take this further in the future if you guys liked it. Uh, this was actually from a suggestion I got on one of my YouTube comments. So please leave me a suggestion on what you would want to see. I just want to put my patrons up on screen right now. Thank you so much to you guys. I will make this project downloadable for you. Please remember to like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, again, leave me a suggestion on what you want to see and uh, what you thought of this one. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.